Hey guys, I got a product review uh, that I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, it's kind of a fun product because it resolves something that's very annoying. If you uh, own a gas can that was purchased in the last like 10 years. Anyway, um, a friend of mine that's kind of a diehard do-it-yourselfer and uh, he found a workaround, a product that's out there that kind of fixes this, the problems with the, um, the new EPA gas cans, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, that have the special nozzle applicators and some of the the weird um, devices that they put on these things that are supposed to keep fuel from kind of off gassing and it results in spilling everywhere or they and they don't work half the time and all that so anyway um let me get into it all right here's what we got it's called the easy pour it's a replacement spout and vent kit high flow spout with reducer tip so Basically, this brings your gas can down to like the 1985 standards where they didn't have all that ridiculous stuff on there. I'm going to show you an example of uh, one of the new ones they have. I have a diesel can and um, they put one of these weird new nozzles on it and it just leaks everywhere uh, when I pour it. And half the f uh, fuel gets on the ground instead of where I want it to. Um, I don't have a big problem with like my fuel staying around long enough to evaporate and um those devices only work if they kept the fuel like in the tank and it seems like all the ones i've ever had just result in spillage and so on so anyway let me open this up i'll show you what it looks like okay this is what all came in the packaging. Um, this looks like a big, uh, a big spout. Looks like it comes with two different um, attachments. I guess they probably have different standards for the um, for the cans, nozzles. Uh, there's this lid. I'm gonna take this off. It's pretty cool. So this has a gasket underneath of it. So when you tighten it down, it presses up against the um, this gasket here and keeps your fluid from uh, spilling or um, like evaporating out. There's also a screen here to keep any kind of sediment or anything like that that's major out of your um, gas tank. Um, plastic on here, very durable. I mean, this is not like, it, it's not junk. It's, uh, it feels like more than what you'd usually get like with a regular gas can. And then this is like an extension you can stick on here like that and it screws on and it has a reducer for like, say if you have like a small um, two stroke motor or something with a smaller um, input on the tank. And it also has a screw on lid with a gasket on it. And there's this little doodad here for your gas can to basically you can create a, um, a, um, a vent. And then there's this little lanyard to kind of retain it all together. Okay, so here's the here's the scam, right? It says only for use on fuel containers manufactured prior to January first, two thousand nine. So, in reality, what this is a retrofit kit to get rid of all these new stupid California gas can stuff they put on there. Um, I found this on Amazon for like twelve, thirteen dollars, and um, one day delivery. So, pretty easy. All right, I'm gonna get out my fuel can and we can fit all this on see how she does okay this is what i'm talking about here this stupid idiotic piece of engineering uh so the way it works is it's got some kind of turn it on turn it off thing here and you're supposed to stab this into your gas tank and then like there's a combination of like pushing switches and pushing this down at the same time and then it's supposed to let the fuel out this thing leaks i mean i get more fuel coming out of this then out of this end and something's wrong with that. Like if you're trying to create some kind of a device that's supposed to stop emissions and pollution and everything else, but it spills out of places it's not supposed to, it doesn't really do its job anyway. And so the mechanism on here don't really work. There's another kind that has some kind of valve on it where you have to like press in here to, uh, you know, it basically has a valve. And when you push on this end, it those have the same kind of problem. So 
Anyway, I'm going to take this off and put the other one on and throw this in the garbage because it doesn't work. Okay, I think this is the cap that I'm going to use. You see that it's got a rubber seal in here, which will make good contact with that ring inside of... Let's see if, how well it seals. Okay, see so it presses right down up against that ring and it's going to keep any fluids from coming out. And then it sandwiches the flange on this little spout here in that joint too. So it should be nice and sealed. Like I said, this is pretty beefy, robust feeling plastic. There we go right there. It feels nice and tight. I got this little cap. I'm going to stab it on here. Look at that. Okay, I feel like we're good to go now. So I'm just going to, I have a very small amount of diesel in here. I'm going to tilt this over and see if it spills when I pour it. If it's down there in that spout, guess what? It is not spilling, guys. I mean, there's fluid in there and then there's nothing coming out. That other one, probably a majority of the uh, fluid inside this has spilled or evaporated so i'm pretty happy with this to be honest for 12 bucks i mean in reality i'd like to have a jerry can but these little plastic ones are good for throwing the back of your truck or whatever and they're fairly robust i like the handles on them so and they work well except for stupid nozzle um i don't know i think maybe there's a way to retrofit one of these vents on here i'll have to figure that out maybe you need to drill a hole and then, like, you could put this cap on here. I'll have to read the instructions. I'm not as worried about that, though, to be honest with you. Um, I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna go ahead and put this on, honestly, because I think it'll make it flow, like, more uniform so that it uh, kind of comes out without, without spilling. Let me see how this lanyard fits on here. So I'm guessing that it kind of loops. Okay, got that on there, and I'm just going to take this up. I'm going to have to use some wire pliers to grab a hold of this because it's very small and slippery, but it just threads up through that little eye, and then it'll keep that little cap from popping off. So there you go. I got retention. Um, this thing does kind of hug the spout a little bit, so one of the things is, like, as you twist it, you're going to have to take this lanyard and kind of go around would have been nice if they kind of put a, more of a loose fit on there so that it'd spin. Because I can imagine somebody just twisting that lanyard off. But yeah, nice and tight right there. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this vent in. Here's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to measure this this guy here. I think it measures at 0.5135. If I measure this drill bit, this is a... Okay, so it's like 0.48, so there's a few thousands, like ten thousands of clearance. So this, this thing is bigger than the hole that this will produce. I think I want to put it pretty high up on here. I'm going to put it like right back here in this shoulder area. All right, the reason I'm going to use this is because it has the, the spades on there, and it should do a good job. Okay, I'm partially through cutting that hole. It's taking all the remnants out, and so I think it's going to be able to cut that out. Not, I'm trying to be, to get to the point where I can retrieve that. So you can see this will fit like just right up in there. I wanted to put it high so that if I overfill this, I'm not worried about it leaking out. Okay, I got that hole in there. I'm going to take some of this schmutz out. Okay, let me do that. It's like a countersink bit. I'm going to turn it a little bit just to deburr that hole a little bit. It's not really working the way I want it to. It's working with one hand. You know, I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna just stuff it down in that hole. I'm gonna press it in. Okay, I got that in there. And uh, so it's right here up at the top. It's kind of out of the way. It's very good tight seal around the hole. This, I had to compress this into the hole so it's like a compression fit so I don't have to I think it'll do a pretty good job of keeping it from leaking. This lid here is just right there, up and out of the way. Easy to flip from this side. Just pick it with your finger like that, and then I can push it back in. But anyway, I'm happy with this. I feel like I transformed this piece of crap gas can into something that I could actually use. Um, 
I fill this up with diesel and I use it to power my space heater in here. So anyway, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I like this feels like it's not just going to turn to garbage very quickly. I mean, I don't expect it to last forever either, but um, it's kind of a solution to an annoying problem. Anyway, that's all I got. This is the Easy Flow uh, gas spout. Um, you can retrofit your gas cans with these, even though it says 2009 and before. But um, yeah, it's a good product. There you go.